Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this tip, I'm talking about how to hit the driver longer again. Now, in order to do that, you have to have the right thoughts. So that's what this tip is about. It's explaining what you need to think about throughout your swing. If you can think this way, you'll definitely hit the driver a lot longer. Hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel, click on the little bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and definitely tell all your friends about these tips. You know, there's other people out there that would like to hit their driver longer too. In order to hit your driver longer, we gotta have the right thoughts. So a lot of the people that I see, when they come out here for lessons, they are thinking about power going back. So that is completely the wrong thought. You wanna be thinking about setting the club up going back. Then you wanna be thinking power coming down. All right, so here's what I'm getting at. You know, person comes out here, they're like this and they're taking it back fast. They're, I'm gonna hit this one. And then, like I said, they're all locked up, they're tight. They're thinking power, I'm gonna hit it. Yeah, I'm not thinking like that. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get into a great position by the time I hit the top to then switch in my mind to my lower body to hit that ball. All right, so we're thinking, set the club up going back, power coming down. So the things I'm looking for when I go into my backswing would be, you know, coiling up. So I wanna feel like my shoulders are coiling. Okay, you wanna try and fully coil. I'm going to load my weight 80% on the instep of my back foot and I want to feel like my wrists are hinged fully by the time I hit the top. So those are kind of like the three main things that I'm thinking about. All right, so here I am like this, getting ready to hit driver. So right here, I'm not thinking I'm going to hit this one. I'm not thinking like that in any way. I'm thinking about coiling. So right here, I'm getting ready to go. Then I switch. So I'm gonna switch to my shoulder right here. I'm gonna start to crank my shoulders. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna start to crank my shoulders. Okay, now I start coiling. I'm in around halfway back. Now from here upwards of the top, I'm starting to now feel the weight loading on my instep. Because I wanna be in a position to fire my lower. So I'm gonna start coiling. Now I'm feeling the weight load. And now from about here to here, like as it starts hitting the top, I'm sensing the club set in position. So once I feel that it's set, then I switch in my mind to my legs and hips firing in the downswing. Okay, so let me do it from here. So right here, okay, I'm getting ready. Nice and relaxed. Now in my mind, I switch. I'm gonna switch to shoulders, because I'm gonna coil. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna start my coil, like this, okay, in the early stages. I'm not gonna go like this and shift. I'm gonna start the coil first. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna start the coil. Okay, then I start to kind of now start feeling the weight loading onto my instep. Club's gonna keep going back right about here. Now I start to think, or not think, for me, I'm more feeling it set at the top. There's a feeling I get when the club is fully hinged. So I'm waiting for that sensation of the club setting at the top. Once I feel it set in the position I like up at the top, then I can switch in my mind to firing my legs and hips. And I am doing that pretty hard and fast at that point, you know, to get the power in my downswing. All right, so it's a kind of a different way to think 
like I said, if you are thinking, I want power going back, or I'm really going to hit this one, you are going to lock up. You might not be in a great position at the top of the backswing to even come down. So just start to kind of change the way you think a little bit. We're setting it up going back. We're looking for power coming down. So here's how I'm getting the power coming down, okay? So I'm right here. My first thought is coil. Okay, so I'm coiling. Then I'm gonna start to sense the weight loading. Club's gonna probably be around here. And now I start feeling this set position. At this moment in time, I switch to the lower and I'm starting to fire my belt buckle basically back to the camera or where the ball would be. Okay, so I'm trying to get back to where I started. And I'm trying to do that by the time my lead arm is parallel to the ground. So I've coiled up like this. My first move would be back to the camera or back to the ball with the belt buckle. So if I can get that, I've already turned 45 degrees. So now if I keep turning, that's when I can get the other 45 degrees as I hit the ball. All right. So it's pure lower body at that point. I'm up at the top. And then firing, okay? It's a kind of a turn and a shift. If you want to feel it, you would just take a ball, just throw a ball, okay? So if I went to throw this ball, see, I'd start moving my hips, legs and hips. I'm firing down here. Then my arm would come through. So you can always do that just in some practice swings. You can go like this, get that sense, then do it in practice swings. Oh yeah, legs and hips, legs and hips, okay? Then of course you'd apply it to the ball. So again, it's a setting going back, set it up, take your time. You don't wanna go back so fast that you lock everything up. We're gonna set it up, then we're gonna fire. All right, so if you can kinda of even say that to yourself, when you're doing it, that'll remind you to think like that. I'm telling you, so many people I've seen are just literally sitting here whacking at golf balls and, you know, they just will never get it. Got to kind of change it a little bit. So I'm giving you three main things to think about back here. Okay, we're going to coil, we're going to load, and we're going to feel our club set. Once you can kind of say, yeah, I got those three things, then we're going to fire the lower. Okay, so go slow at first until you kind of get the feeling. So right here, I'm getting ready to go. Okay, now kind of wag a little, little, I'm staying nice and relaxed. Now I'm gonna switch in my mind to coil my shoulders. That's the first thought. Then I'm gonna feel the load and then I'm gonna feel the club set. All right, so we're gonna get that. And then of course, we're gonna fire in the downswing with our legs and hips, all right? So we're gonna feel it down here to hit the actual shot. So like I said, if you wanna hit the ball longer, just change the way you think. Set it going back and fire the lower. Look for power coming down, not going back. You do that, you'll hit the ball longer than ever. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my body swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.